Guys, how are you doing? Uh, Oscar, I'm back again. Guys, I bought a Toyota Prius. And before we start, let me just say, welcome to 2018, okay? I've been really, really busy. I went to Africa for the wedding. I had visitors coming from Poland. And I bought this car. I've been running up and down to get it uh, onto the road, okay? So it's a Prius plug-in, okay? So... I'm gonna be making a couple of videos just to, you know, tell you how the things are going with it. It seems like a very nice car, you know, uh, you, you know me, I, I, when I say a nice car, I mean in terms of technology, uh, not gadgets inside. I don't care about things like the radio, the sat navs and all those things. I want something that is green, that will be very economical, okay? So... I hope this car, if, you know, you buy it for the right purpose or it's used by the right person, it can be green, okay? And the battery, if you can do something to the battery, you can even get it to be much, much better than the way it is right now, okay? So here I was just filming inside just to show how things are. This car, if you switch on the the aircon you see it says there's 7.8 miles on the battery if you switch on the aircon like i'm doing right now here you see you lose almost one mile of a uh, juice from the from the battery so you don't want to run with the aircon if you want to be economical with these cars no air condition okay forget about it just stay cold now this car has a lot of space i was so amazed because it's a very tiny car but behind look this seat <laughs> these seats i push them all the way to the end to the back the ones in front but there is huge space absolutely huge you know leg room i, I just it just i was just <laughs> just amazed by that you know i have very very long legs and i struggle to sit in so many cars but this one no just fine and then, you know, the floor is like, it's, it's completely flat across. Normally there will be like a lump in, in between, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the rear part of the floor, you know, in some cars. But this one is almost, it's just flat. Everywhere is just flat. So it, it is very, very good car for, you know, for, for taxi, I think. So just after using it for a couple of uh, weeks about three weeks now uh, what do i what was my, what is my judgment in this short time uh, i don't know why they say it is economical i don't know why they say it is economical this is plug-in as you can see there not with me and I drive it like a baby. I don't drive it like I was doing with Insignia. Man, Insignia, I was, I was pushing it to the limit. I wasn't playing with it. Because I got that car tuned to almost over 170 brake horsepower. This one has only 98. So, and the other thing, because it's a new investment, I'm driving it like a baby, you know, to try to take care of it until I get that money back, okay? But I don't know why they say they are they are economical car i'm still spending exactly the same as i was spending with insignia and remember with insignia i was thrashing that thing okay and it weighed 1.8 tons this one only weighs one point i think 1.450 somewhere there 1.4 1.5 tons so it is over 300 kilograms less than insignia but I don't see the difference when it comes to to putting petrol. Twenty pound on diesel on the insignia every day, twenty pound on petrol on the plug-in Prius every day. And remember I have to plug it in. If I forgot to plug it in, that twenty pound might go to like twenty-five pound. So I I just don't know why they they say they are green, maybe in the long run, but at the moment, <laughs> I want my ciggy back. Man, it, it, I'm starting to think, did I make a big mistake here? 
I sold a good car. I remember I was taking care of this car. I was servicing it on time. You know, I just got rid of it just like that to get a Prius. Thinking instead of spending 20 pounds a day, I'm going to spend five. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -mm. if you were looking this way, mm -mm. don't watch Fully Charged. Watch Top Gear. Okay? Don't get me wrong. This car will be fantastic if you don't use it for the, maybe the job that I'm using. If you're just taking kids to school and back. Because you can plug it in and run for about 11 miles. And that is 11 miles. Not on hills. If you're going up hills, you will see your 11 miles just vanishing uh, to like 5 miles. You know what I'm saying? I was driving... Uh, from Booknoll going up the hill to Warrington okay and I've seen I lost about five miles on the battery I was just doing the battery alone because I thought oh because it's a hill let me just save petrol let me just use electric <laughs> I lost about five miles just going less than a mile you know trip and I lost about five miles on the battery. Now, you may think that when I come back, because I'm going downhill, I will get that five miles back. No, going downhill, charging, I got about 1.5 or two miles back. So, I, I don't know, folks. I don't, you know, I always, I was always wary, if I may say, about Top Gear talking about these cars you know that they are not green and if green we mean saving petrol i think they are right you know that i think they are right or if green we mean just using it for every day you do only less than 11 miles but not on hills because if it's on hills it's not going to be 11 miles sorry i'm sorry to say that okay uh, then it will be green for you because you might never ever have to start the engine because remember these cars when they get tested they get the they get the test drivers who are who weigh like 40 kilos they get the thinnest guys who are very light and they don't carry anything the petrol tank is almost empty because they wouldn't test it with it full because it will be heavy and they pump the wheels to the maximum Okay, and they do this only on flat surfaces. They wouldn't go to hills. So all the, you know, the data of how much you can get from the battery, it was done with everything pushed to the limit. Okay, so my experience as a taxi driver, I think insignia, think about it. I'm saying I was thrashing it. I was always pushing it to the limit. And this, I'm driving it like it. If I push this to the limit, <laughs> I might spend 40 pounds. Okay? So if you're a taxi driver and you're thinking of Prius, maybe it will be good for you in London to dodge the congestion charge. But if we're talking in terms of here in Stoke, I'm, I'm a nice guy. I will tell you the truth. Don't go there. Get a Skoda. Okay? Get a Skoda. You, you'll be fine. Uh, because Skoda, they weigh, you know, they weigh about 1.4 tons. Uh, I've seen a Skoda Superb that weighs 1.5 tons. A Superb is bigger than Insignia. Huge leg room. Two liter. But it weighs 1.4. My Insignia weighed 1.7 tons. And you check your, your, your logbook, your V5. Look where it says a mass in service. That's the weight of your car, excluding you and everything. Just the car. So, you know, uh, maybe if I went for the Skoda, probably things would have been much, much better, you know. Uh, but at the moment, mm, I don't, I don't see. I'm going to, I might end up putting it on auto traders to sell it because I don't want to buy a car that expensive and then still spend the same thing. You know, I watched Fully Charged when they were talking about this car. Uh, no, no, not in Stoke. In London, it's all right. You will dodge congestion charge and other things because they say it's green. I don't see that greenery. I'm still spending huge on fuel. So 
so that's the way it is guys i'm going to make a couple of videos just to you know to explain a couple of things about the car and what i see and all that okay guys so you bear with me i am back i'm not going anywhere i'm always around okay guys take care thank you very much for wait for watching i keep on saying for working i don't know why for watching and i hope this year will be one of the best for you okay take care bye bye